You don't even know where this thing came from, and you're talking about keeping it? He's an alien, and he came in the spaceship. If anybody else knows that we have him, he'll be experimented on, and they can use him for tests. No! We don't even know what this thing is, and you're talking about keeping it? For all we know, it can be deadly. Yeah, very deadly. muted oh whoops i was muted you guys didn't hear me uh i basically asked kevin i was like uh i said that was a pretty sick trailer right and he said i agree man it was it was very that it was very that what is up everybody welcome to the stream can you hear me now now you can hear me right hello oh you can hear me now now we're good all right we're good now what is up guys uh me and Kevin are here just to say hi to all of you. And wow. 10,000 views on Star Wars Baby Yoda. We got Cobra Kai Karate in here. We got Bryce Productions and Aryan Sharma. What is up, guys? Thank you all for joining. Dude, this is nuts. Um, now, before we're obviously, uh, as you guys see, Jaren's not here. Uh, he couldn't make it, so um, he wanted to. He he said to send his regards, and that he's very proud of this film, proud of the accomplishment. We all are. Kevin here is too. This film, man, you guys. If you guys are here on this stream, you guys know how much the movie means to me, means to Jaron, means to my boy Kevin over here. Um, you know, it's the biggest film that I've ever done in my life. And, you know, I love making videos. I love making movies. That's something I always want to do. Um, and, you know, literally making that film was one of the biggest challenges, but biggest rewards of my life. It was a really good film. We got the the thumbnail over here. I'll show you guys. Star Wars Baby Yoda, 10,000 views is perfect because you got Jaren and I celebrating like for the birthday. It's a perfect thumbnail. So um, I'm really excited to talk to you guys. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we discussed some Baby Yoda. Um, am I out of focus? Let me put go a little more in focus. Yeah, I think we're good there. So it's been a while since we discussed um, Baby Yoda. So I'm excited to talk about it. The film is underrated and deserves more yeah so you know when when we first made it you know we we thought you know this thing could blow up right and what happened was it actually started i think it had like a couple thousand in like the first like week which that was amazing we did not expect that much um like we wanted it to blow up we thought it deserved to but we weren't sure like we really didn't know and then it started to like slow down even out and it wasn't gaining views and i was like dang that sucks and then like over the past couple of months it's really been just like picking up like like today alone it got like a hundred views which is nuts so um you know we put so much work into it and we think it's like you know one of those like hidden gems on youtube where it's like i mean this is a real film this is the first stream on the DJ show after six months. Wow, that's crazy. That's nuts, man. Time flies. Time flies. I did not even realize that. Yeah. Um, well, as you guys know, I've been doing Cobra Kai Kid. Jaren's been doing his thing. Um, 
but you know, even though Jaron wasn't able to pop on, I wanted to come on to talk to you guys. Um, and really just thank you all for supporting. And, um, I'm hoping that, you know, it continues to grow, especially with the Obi-Wan series coming out. You know, this film, you watch this two times a week. T was just so good. So my, it's funny because my little cousin, my baby cousin, she's three years old. I'll have to post like, I want to post a video of her like watching it, watching the film. Um, she loves the fan film. And, you know, it's so funny because she, because she's three years old, she didn't know, she doesn't know Star Wars, she doesn't know Mandalorian. So she calls it Kevin. Every time she sees it, it's Kevin, not Grogu, not Baby Yoda. It's Kevin. Uh, when we go to the, the store and like there's like products on the shelves, she calls it Kevin. It's so cute. So um, I want to show you guys that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it's just real. It's really cool. It's like to have like a little a little fan like that. Um, it will always be Kevin to her. For me, it'll always be Abner. So, your little bro is three and he loves it. Yeah, that's so awesome. I appreciate that. Don't worry, bro. The numbers are gonna just keep going sky high. Yeah, I'm hoping like, here's what I think. Like, you know, the recreation, my Cobra Kai episode one recreation. It actually had, um, it only had like a couple thousand views within the first couple months. Pretty sure it was just at a couple thousand views, and now it's at a million. So it, it didn't blow up right away. It was once the Netflix acquisition came, it just blew up out of nowhere. So, um, you know, we're going to keep this on the channel. And I mean, hey, like 10,000 views, you know, that's that's pretty big. Um, That's pretty big and it's growing. You know, that's that's all you got to ask for is to keep seeing it grow. And hopefully when the time is right, it just keeps picking up and keeps getting there. I mean, all you need is that one person to see it and to spread the word like, we need like Balin Levine or something to see this video. That'd be pretty cool. Let's go Abner. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to just open my window. It's like very hot in here. Give me one second, guys. One second. The heat was on. That's why it was hot. <laughs> I opened the window and uh, turned off the heat. Uh, Takahiko that says, congrats. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. I just want to thank all of you guys so much for the support. Um, you know, it's like, <laughs> I think I might go out on the stream and promote it like Jody. Yeah, definitely. You know, I've been, I've been promoting it a lot. I've been trying to um, tell people to see it and you know everyone that's seen it has liked it, it it's a good fa it, it's like a family film that's what i would consider it as i have to sneeze <laughs> Oof. i always try and turn off my camera when i have to sneeze because you know you look so weird when you sneeze i i took a video of myself sneezing once and i look so weird so i gotta be gotta be quick with that um, but yeah, the, I, I would consider the film like a family film, you know, it's just like, it's for families. It's for all ages. I feel like, which is really cool. That was the goal. Like, I think what we were trying to accomplish this with this film is what we accomplished, which was ultimately to make this a film. Anyone can enjoy star Wars fans can enjoy it. Non star Wars fans can enjoy it. A three-year-old, a 10 year old, a 20 year old a 50 year old and an 80 year old, like my grandparents love the film um, and they understand it. So, and, and a three year old understands it too. You know, my little cousin, she's like saying, Oh, it's the monster. It's the monster about the bounty hunter, which is so cool. So I tell everyone to watch it. And so far, everyone said it was good. The problem was not too many people know about it. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like Cobra Kai. When Cobra Kai was on YouTube, it was such a good show. But not many people knew about it. So, um, yeah. 
Exactly. Not too many people knew about Cobra Kai because it was back on YouTube. Bryce Productions, thank you for checking in. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, your final version of Baby Yoda 2. Yeah, I know. I, I see your ideas, man. You don't you don't have to comment the same the same the same comment each time. I I see them. I see them. Um I don't know if there's no Baby Yoda 2. Um I don't I don't know. It, it You know, I definitely want to do I definitely want to do um something with Kevin. You know, it might be something that I I don't know. We'll we'll just have to see. It's hard to get everyone together for that. So, we'll just have to see. Aryan Sharma, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, but hey, I absolutely adored the acting and production besides me not being very into the Star Wars franchise. So it was great, but awesome. Yeah, that that's that was exactly the goal. Um I'm really I'm really glad it spoke to you. Even I know Cobra Kai Karate um with him you you didn't right? You you weren't really into right right? Were you into Star Wars or something? Um I know I know you like you you like started getting all the Kevin merchandise because of this so that's pretty cool. It's like it's so funny because it's like you know there's there's so much baby Yoda merchandise out there. It's baby Yoda, you know, it's Mandalorian. So it's like but but for us, for everyone here, it's Kevin. It's Kevin merchandise. So it's not baby Yoda merchandise, it's Kevin. Like like I have I was actually trying to find it. I couldn't find my Kevin t shirt. I was gonna wear it, but um I couldn't find it. It's a Kevin t shirt. It's not baby Yoda. Like when we went to the store to get the stuff for the birthday, you know, it's Kevin. That's who the heck is Baby Yoda Grogu? Like that name is banned from here. Well, Baby Yoda, yeah, like Baby Yoda's a name. Um by the way, the reason we named the film Baby Yoda, if you guys were just curious, for one, and there's a, actually there's two things to um, take notice of. For one, we started filming this before Mando season two, so we didn't know his name was even Grogu. So the film came out after we found out his name was Grogu, but we didn't know that. So we went with Kevin, even if we even if it was Gro even if we knew it was Grogu, we weren't going to name him Grogu. It's like we're meeting him for the first time. So it's like. Uh, I think he's more of a Kevin. So that, that's what, that's what it is. Um, and the reason we titled it baby Yoda is because baby Yoda is just the, the common name. It's recognizable. So that's why we went with the title. Like people it's baby Yoda. That's what everybody says, whether you're a star Wars fan or not a star Wars fan. So star Wars, baby Yoda, like, dude, tell me, look at that. And I, and I designed that too, which is pretty cool. I'm proud of that. Like with the with the, with Kevin in the A, Star Baby Yoda Wars. Like I'm so proud of that. That was that was really cool. Um, what do you guys think of the thumbnail? I'm just curious. So the thumbnail originally started as like a movie poster. I had like the top of Kevin's head, like kind of like it was like this. It was like that. I know he's cut off because of the green screen, but it was like that. And then it had Star Wars Baby Yoda above it. But then I found like it kind of wasn't getting views. So I'm like, you know what? Let me change the thumbnail. So I changed it to a shot from the movie of me and Jaren looking at Kevin in his spaceship. Pretty cool shot. What do you guys think of that? Is that like eye catching? Do you guys like the thumbnail? Is that cool? I want to thank you because now I'm a huge Star Wars fan. It's all because it's a short film. And I consider this a Star Wars fan film. Oh, awesome. I didn't know that we got you into Star Wars. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Glad that you're into it. Um, you know, it is a Star Wars fan film. I mean, listen, it's it's. You can enjoy it. Like, that's why we titled it Star Wars Baby Yoda. You can enjoy it. Um, you can enjoy it if you're not a Star Wars fan. Um, but if you're a Star Wars fan, there's so many Easter eggs like. Did you guys catch the Chewbacca Easter egg? So when I'm like looking for a gift for uh for Kevin, I like pick up a Chewbacca toy and I like look at it and I throw it away. It's like a very little thing that you could easily miss, but it's like it's like a reference to the Star Wars universe. Like that was pretty cool to include. Just a little funny thing. Um what other Easter eggs do we have? Um there were there were a bunch. 
the the necklace was the same necklace that uh, Baby Yoda had in Mando. Um, you like the one right now? You like the thumbnail now? Cool, cool. There was a lot of Easter eggs in the film. I'm trying to think what others. I don't know. But anyway, I want to do something um, for the next however long, you know, for the next maybe 15 minutes or so. I want to actually get you guys on here to talk to me and to Kevin. Let me take this off. Now you can see Kevin. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's such a great guy. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Like, it's like, it's like Kevin is real. Like, this is, by the way, this is the actual Kevin from the film. And the thing with this Kevin is he, this, this guy has been through so much. We put him in the forest. We put him on a canoe. We put him like in a spaceship. We put him here. We put him there. We put him on in the lake. We put him in the, in a, on a swing. We put him here, 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 here. And like, you know, no matter how dirty he got, no matter how torn or whatever he got, we were never going to change to Kevin. Like, even if his arm broke up, broke off, like, like me and Jaren, like grew like emotionally invested to this Kevin, you know, we're, we're filming with him for a year and it's like, we grew attached. So we're buds with him. So Kevin, Kevin's, Kevin's the man. Anyway, if you guys are interested, does anyone want to come on and talk a little bit? about star wars baby yoda you could ask a question or um just say your favorite scene your favorite line favorite moment or like maybe if there was a part two what you would want to see from it you, that'd be pretty cool if you want to come pitch your part two ideas uh the only thing is if you do come onto the stream you have to show your face in the camera and also we're live so just be respectful, be cordial. That's all you could ask. So, all right. Cobra Kai Karate wants to come on. Okay. I would come on, but my camera wouldn't be on because it's 3 a.m. All right. You know what, Arion? Because it's you, because I, you know, I, I say that because I don't know who, who, uh, <clears throat> who it is. Like sometimes there's people, I don't know who they are. I don't want to bring them on if their camera's not on because then they'll just end up whatever. But since it's you and I know it's you, that that's all right. You could come on even if your camera's on. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the link in the chat. And <clears throat> if you guys want to pop on, you know, let's talk some Star Wars Baby Yoda for the next 15 minutes or so. Um, whatever you guys want to talk about. 10,000 views. This is the celebration. You can ask me a question. You can ask Kevin a question. Share your favorite scene. Share your favorite moment. Your favorite line. Ideas for a sequel. If we were to do something. Maybe your favorite video. I mean, it's probably the baby. <laughs> That's like the biggest one we've done. But whatever you guys want. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, Let me get a cool background you ready to talk to some fans <coughs> that means yes all right let's bring on we'll bring on we'll bring on we could bring on two people at once all right so we got cobra kai karate what is up bro what's up and we get bring on. hello Hey, how you guys doing? Oh, this is. Can you, can you hear uh, me? All right, wait, wait. <laughs> all right, Cobra Kai Karate, how you doing? We'll, we'll do that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm doing good. Aryan? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. It's, I'm kind of sleepy, but I'm up for this. It's fine. Dude, 3 a.m., man. Do you have school tomorrow? No, no, it's a holiday for me. It's I think it's Saturday tomorrow. No, wait, it's Friday? Oh, crap. <laughs> I, I might have, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh! It's Friday your time. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, Friday. No, no, Friday no. At three. It's, 
Yeah, it's Friday, 3 a.m. So do, don't you have school today? Today, uh, tomorrow? Yeah, no? but uh, school can wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if, if you insist, I mean, Ke- Kevin's glad you're – Kevin's – Kevin is glad you guys are on. So, I I was actually gonna make a video of Ariane in like a week or two on my channel. So, of Ariane? Yeah. yeah, I was gonna make a video with Ariane in like a week. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, what's the video, or or is it a surprise? Well, it's it's just a, a Cobra Kai talk um, video. We we just I just bring on Cobra Kai creators. We just talk about Cobra Kai. So, yeah, I was gonna bring him on. Oh, sick, sick. Nice sweatshirt, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Looking good, looking good. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, you guys you guys are probably, like, two of the biggest fans of the fan film. So, I just want to thank you guys both for supporting. You know, we, we were, when we made the film, like, me and Jaren were, like, nerding out when like we were like filming it and we're editing we're editing we're like oh this is so good we like we love like these sorts sorts of things and like we were hoping that other people would notice that but we weren't sure but i feel like you guys you know noticed all the little things i mean you guys have went above and beyond the two of you by you know Ariane, you did some scene reenactments some drawings Cobra Kai Karate, you did some reenactments. Um, so I, I I appreciate that. Like like it's so it's so cool. Like that that a film that we made, you know, you guys really latched on to. So I just want to thank you guys so much for that. Yeah, yes, I think I think the thing for me was like I had I had a good connection with the film because like you guys are like my age, so and I'm into filmmaking and acting and stuff like that. So when I see you guys making a production, which is not like a first class Hollywood production, but it's something, it's something really good and something really good did come out of it. So uh, yeah, I had a good connection with that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, it was amazing. I mean, of course, my little brother, he watches it all the time. I downloaded the whole video because we're in the car. He wants to watch it. And uh, it's just amazing. I love it so much. It's, it's, it's I I consider one of my favorite movies. It's just that good, and uh, I want to say thank you to you. Of course, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I watched them all after I watched this, and um, yeah, I love Star Wars. I love this, and uh, you know, you got me into Karate Kid, you got me into Cobra <laughs> Kai, then you got me into Star Wars. I'm just super grateful. That's so awesome. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wait, how did I? I feel like did you tell me this? How you got? How I got you into Cobra Kai? I forgot. Yeah, it was like. I don't want to say a whole long story, but uh, yeah. long story short, it was like March 2020. Um, I must have watched a couple of Cobra Kai scenes, and then I saw your video get recommended. I watched it. And I said, oh, wow, this looks pretty cool. So I said, well, I should probably go watch this. So I watched The Karate Kids. I watched Cobra Kai, and I watched Cobra Kai when it was still on YouTube. And then after I watched it, I became a huge fan. I came back to your channel, and I just start, fell in love with your channel, fell in love with Cobra Kai. So, yeah, that's how you got me into that. Oh, nice, nice. I'm, yeah. well, I'm I'm glad I got you into Star Wars too. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's um, awesome. Aryan, have you have you watched Star Wars since? Um, <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> not. No, not yet. But it's 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 up there on my to do list to watch because see, if I'm watching the Star Wars franchise, I can't watch it in breaks. I'll have to sit down and force myself to go through the entire process. So I don't want to like watch one film and then watch another one two two or three weeks later because i'll probably forget what happened in it so um i'm just waiting for the right time when when i'm like completely completely free and i sit down and binge it all i understand that um you know i've been trying to get into marvel and not that i don't like it i just i've watched a couple things but yeah you gotta really there's so much there's movies tv shows i'm like i gotta just like wait for the right time to before just getting into all that so I, I understand but um you should definitely watch mandalorian when you can oh, yes. because yeah, like, I, I i did hear that the mandalorian is like not in any way connected with the star wars franchise like even if you haven't seen the franchise you'll still understand mandalorian so yeah those two seasons I, i'm definitely looking to watch those yeah also there's, yeah. there's a lot of stuff from like you know baby yoda it just it, it ties in there's like a lot of cool stuff like even like the luke skywalker the the necklace just all that so um yeah so do you guys have 
maybe a favorite scene, a favorite moment from the film stands out to you? Um, that's that's a hard one. Um, Isaac, I would should I go first? Go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should probably go first. I should probably <laughs> say about it. Um, I think Drew probably knows this, but I absolutely adore the lake scene. The lake scene is definitely one of my favorite scenes of the whole film because I think that scene really highlights the part where the three of the the trio really bonded because at that part you see that Drew has really accepted Kevin for what it is because in the previous scenes you know Drew was unsure about Kevin if you know Kevin was to be kept with them or not so but in the lake you can see that Drew's taking over with protecting Kevin and stuff like that and uh all the mismatch and all the arguments that Drew and Jaren had, they all resolve in that one scene. And the music is beautiful as well. So yeah. 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 Th- th- thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's a that's a perfect like I'm really glad that you noticed that that like you pretty much encaptured what that was. That you know, we 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 were doing a lot of writing, a lot of planning with it, and um, you know like a lot of scenes we thought about doing a lot of scenes we weren't going to do like that scene wasn't that lake scene like wasn't like something from the very beginning of the film was like oh we're gonna we're gonna do that it was kind of like as we were going as we were writing it was like we need to we need like a like a kind of like it's we kind of call it like the aftermath you know it's like the the post battle you don't really know if it's like a day later or a week later you just know it's sometime after um and yeah, it's just to tie in all the stuff. Yeah, exactly what you said. Um, you know, that's where, you know, me me and Jaren and, and actually Jaren is the one who um came up with that because originally I was gonna give Kevin the gift, um, and we we're all gonna hug him, whatever. But then Jaren was like, you know, even though like we're all connected to Kevin, it's like, you know, this film also is like about me and Jaren's friendship. And like kind of like growing with each other, learning about each other. And we had that whole argument, you know. So like Jaron came up with the idea like we should, you know, like Ke- like Kevin will come in later. But let's have that moment, you know, where it's like, like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, and it's like, no, I'm sorry. And just like two friends, you know, just making up. And then obviously Kevin wants in on the hug. <laughs> and then and then, yeah. And then, yeah, the music. Love that music. That was that was fun stuff. So um uh cobra kai karate you got a favorite scene yeah well i'd say the leg scene's amazing love the whole film for me i would probably go with the montage with um you're my best friend just because that montage is just first off the music i love it um and then also just the montage is just so happy to watch it's so incredible and just that music i listen to that song a lot now it's amazing and um yeah that that whole montage always put a smile on my face. It was amazing. I love how you guys put the scenes in together. It was amazing. Thanks, man. Yeah, that that was that was what we were looking forward to most. And that was probably like the most fun I had filming because, you know, um, and you guys do film, so it's like um when I when I make movies, I love to like go outside go to different locations and do activities. So it's like, you're not just standing still. It's like, especially when you're acting, it's fun. So like when we're kayaking or when we're like on the swings, like, you know, we're at, or when we're running through the fields, it's like, we're actually doing that stuff. It's not like, it's not fake. We're actually doing it. We're on this, we're at this random location in the middle of nowhere. Like we literally just found these random locations and it was just so fun putting that all together. We had so many ideas too. Like what, what you guys saw on screen the final cut was what just flowed naturally that was like the natural flow so that's why we kept it i'm sure you guys saw some of the deleted scenes like those Mm -hmm. scenes were going to be put into the montage so you would have had that you would have had the music over it but it would have gotten too long it wouldn't have been good but there I'll, i'll share with you guys there are a couple other things that we were thinking about doing um one we actually filmed um we actually filmed, but like never really edited it. Edit. Ugh, I hate that word. Edited, edited, edited. edited, edited. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, me, Jaron and Kevin were watching a, like 
a sad movie and it, the camera was like panning and it showed like me like eating popcorn and then it showed kevin watching and then when it got to jaren he has like all these tissues and he was like blowing into the tissues and then kevin like was handing him a tissue and then the chair was like thank you and, like so like while watching this sad movie and then there was another one where we were like jump we were gonna do like jumping on the trampoline in slow motion we were gonna do we we're gonna do ice skating <laughs> but then because keep in mind keep in mind this was the film was like you know even though we went kayaking you saw the nice weather it's like we filmed this film for like a year so like it like it was december and we're like oh we could do ice skating but then we never did that and then come like it was like maybe june that's when we did the kayaking that was like one of the last things we did so um i'm glad you like that scene though that's that was definitely one of my favorites too and we got another person here cobra kai zone can i bring you on okay cool what's up man hey how are you great how are you what's up cobra kai karate what's up <laughs> i know you guys are friends right yeah yeah, yeah well um cobra kai zone thank i want to i thanked cobra kai karate and Aryan, but thank you to you too for okay. supporting the film for yeah. the the nice comments um it's awesome you guys you guys worked so hard on that i can i could tell and man your hard work paid off it was incredible thanks man thanks man i really appreciate that and <laughs> you know it, it's like it's crazy because you know we felt like i know you guys make movies too it's like we filmed this movie on an iphone like the whole film yeah yeah so. the whole film <laughs> the whole film was not on an iphone i edited on iMovie. i did all the editing and i'm not i'm not like an editor i'm not i'm not good with like technology stuff so there was special effects like all the special effects some of them like other people did i like used like a website called fiverr if you guys are familiar with that oh, that's yeah, actually that. yeah that's actually a good uh resource if you guys um ever need special effects or something the but, bullet the bullet one where uh kevin holds that was incredible jaren actually did that jaren actually jaren did, that. did that oh, yeah wow. yeah so that was um there's an app called lightsaber fx it's like five dollars and basically like it's like it was one of those things where you had to like go frame by frame and kind of like put the move have the blaster here and then the next frame move it here move it here and then move it here here so it, it, then it then when you speed it up it's like kind of mm -hmm. going like that um yeah and and um are you a star wars fan yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah. okay cool cool so um i'm curious did any of you guys like notice like you know that's a reference to you know kylo ren yeah yeah the... yeah i got that and i, I thought it's so cool yeah awesome uh cobra kai karate since you watched star wars after did you get that like when you saw that did you did you think of the film or no do you know what i'm talking about he he hasn't watched the um the last three i don't think yet has have you i think he he just I think left there's like a lag yeah yeah he he just um, got kicked out so yeah. if he comes back on he'll come back on but, but, but i'm sorry to like break in but drew you were talking about the whole film being shot on an iphone and uh being edited in iMovie because and that just shows that you don't need like a you don't need 10 tripods and a moving camera and premiere pro to make a movie like anything is possible mm -hmm. which is really cool yeah exactly exactly it's like it's like there we go oh uh it's very slow oh you there i think there's like a oh, there's like a really big me? lag can you hear me yeah yeah you're just a little frozen there you go oh. can you hear me <laughs> oh, yeah can you it. yeah it's glitching a little bit i'm so i'm sorry i'm sorry oh it's all good sorry, it's all sorry. good um but yeah, Aryan, exactly what you said, man. Um, yeah. It was on an iPhone, edited on iMovie. Like, literally, it's like, I I truly believe, and I think this film, like, says it, because when you watch it, it's like, it feels like it was filmed on with multiple cameras, even though, if you really break it down, it's like, every clip is like, 
like every time the camera cuts, it's a completely new clip. But um, so in order to make it like like flow, you know, we just made sure to get a lot of different angles. And that's like the key, especially if you're filming with one camera, um, especially during a fight scene, um, the back and forths, like, you know, if like during that fight scene in the woods, like, you know, all those, sh all, all those shots, every time the camera cut, it was a, new, a brand new shot. So we wanted to get like, if, if Jaren was getting punched, we showed from behind him and then we showed from in front. So like when he was getting punched, it's like, then you cut to behind like different things to make it. And, you know, it, it, it obviously was a long process, but I think it came together good. And yeah, it's all about, you know, it's all about story. Like at the end of the day, it's like, I, I truly believe that like, because I really am not great, like with technology, like I will never be a cameraman. Um, I know for my school, I have to do a film soon. I have to make my own film, which I'm pretty nervous about because it's like, you know, using real equipment, um, lighting, all that like stuff that I'm still learning about. Um, and, but, but I, I truly believe that like, as long as you have a good story and you have a good vision, like of how you want to direct it and you plan it out. You know, we had all the shots planned out before we shot them, which was key. You know, when, when, when you, <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm out. He <laughs> <laughs> just did. There we go. <laughs> so up. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Do you have the same chair as me? Do I? Oh, wait. No, similar. It's similar. No, you yeah. Like... It's the same color. It's the same color. It's literally the same coloring, just different words, but that's cool. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I think just like, especially if you're directing a film, if you're directing a film, um, it's just about, or if you're writing and directing, you want to make sure you're, you're like writing the whole thing out good. Um, when you, when you direct, like have all the shots planned out. Like I had, like a like I had like a shot list of like the the wood scenes probably had like two hundred shots. There was like two hundred shots. We filmed yeah, so we we filmed that for a week. Oh my gosh! It was we filmed that for okay. So Jaron came over and slept. <laughs> I don't know. He came over, slept over at my house for a full week, and basically we had school in the morning. We had online school. This was like, you know, back when schools were on Zoom. So we did our Zoom school. Mm -hmm. And then literally at four o'clock, we would go to the woods, bring all the equipment. And this was when it was still daytime because we would set up. So as soon as it hit night, we were filming like we wanted to be ready. And then we were filming probably from like five to like one in the morning. And that was for oh, like a week straight. So it was like. <laughs> It was basically school, film, sleep. Who 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 dressed up um, as the bad guy? Who dressed up as him? I forget his name. So so that that was actually my mother. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> which which you no know, my no my mom my mom you know me and me and Jaren we we never we never had cast members we never had cast members so originally Jaren's brother was gonna do it Jaren's brother. His little brother actually, um, the scenes where um, we were looking out the window, you know, when we were looking out the window at the bounty hunter, when we see him for the first time, mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was Jaren's younger brother in the bounty hunter suit. Oh, okay. And then for the fight scenes, the, the wood scenes, that was my mom. So they, they switched because his, 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 he didn't want to do it. And then what happened was we tried to get someone else to do it. And, um, he missed it's, out on like a big. He missed out on a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, here's the thing though. Like, I don't know if anybody else would have like, like I don't think anybody if anybody knew what it was, I don't think they would ever want to sign up for it, because like, <laughs> who wants to go in the wood? It, and and keep in mind, this was in November, so it was like 30 degrees outside. It was freezing. Oh it was so cold. <laughs> And we were still filming this thing. And I mean, we, we did it. We did it though. So, um, and then, and then Jaren had work 
he had work one day, but we weren't done yet. So he had to go to <laughs> he had to go to work. He like, drove like all the way to his work, like and then like came back the next day. Like, um, and what what happened was this is actually like a crazy crazy story. So, um, so we're filming the we're filming the the wood scenes, right? Mm -hmm. And I was going, I was about to go away on vacation for a month. This was last year when we were filming. I was going to go away on vacation for a month and we knew we had to get it done. It was like, I was going away in like a couple days. So it was like, we had, we have to get this done before I go away. And one of the key reasons, um, not that we were going to finish the film when I got back because it still took a long time after, but, um, you know, we were filmed when we were filming in the woods, there were no, there were no leaves on the trees. Mm -hmm. So by the time I got back, the, the woods would probably look completely different. Maybe the, there would be green, there would be yellow. Like, you know, we, we couldn't risk like a whole month going by and then the whole atmosphere changing and then it not looking good. So we had to like, just knock that out. It was the hardest thing, but it was, it was the best. And we got that done early. We got that done. We, 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 we started filming in September. No, we started filming in October. Wait. Yeah, we started filming in October. And we filmed that scene, that whole woods, in December or November. And then we didn't actually finish the film until, like, June. So. Wow. Yeah, so it was that, a, that, That's pretty what, insane. Yeah, it was a very long process. What, uh, what most people don't understand when they're watching a, a film like that. They don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Like they like they don't understand like the different cuts that you guys have to make. Like they're just watching it and just not even thinking about it. Like you guys make one shot and then switch from another. Like and it just takes so much time because like and people don't even think about that. It just takes Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's because like you when you see in like a big Hollywood production, there's there are like four or five cameras surrounding the actors. There's all different angles. But here you have one camera, one iPhone, which is taking multiple shots at different times. So, yeah, there yeah, definitely tends to be a longer and a more difficult process because you have to get each shot right. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so I'm curious, you know, nothing nothing nothing's confirmed there's no nothing in the works i'm not i'm not trolling you guys like there's really nothing but kevin wants to know if he were to come back up <laughs> you'll have to go. if you were to come back for a, another film if if there were to be a baby oda number two picking mm -hmm. up right where number one left off i'm curious like what are your guys's ideas what would you want to see happen what do you think should happen what do you what do you what, this is the writer's room. What's your story? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Obviously, I know Luke Skywalker, I think, came in at the end, right? Yeah. So we'd have to do something with that. Um, A new villain, right? Because didn't he die? Oh, yeah. That, that's true. That's true. <laughs> he, could, he could be alive. You never know. Did he? Um, maybe he did, but maybe he didn't. I don't know. I don't know. I know someone that I'm talking to. Um, that I've made videos with has something planned up and he's like, I don't know what he's doing exactly, but he is like, he's making like a whole separate thing about baby Yoda. But, um, oh, cool. he, oh man, I don't know. That's tough. Like, I, I, I don't know. Uh, a lot of covert, maybe you could put in like, uh, your, um, your grandpa again, <laughs> make John, John Kreese versus Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, man. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. I like it. How about you, Aryan? All right. So, like, w when you talk about right after where Baby Yoda 1 left off, we, I think I remember Drew said that uh, I'm sure he wasn't the only one. So, we know that in the second sequel, there are going to be other people who are going to come and look for uh, Kevin. So, I think the challenges Drew and Jaren face to protect Kevin from those people is what I'd like to see. And uh the second sequel and you know how they coordinate themselves and maybe maybe a, like a big epic duel at the end of the film and which and which ends in someone's death it's i mean obviously that's not ideal but it, it'd be nice to have an emotional twist in the story well, he had that whole planned out. Like he was like he was ready for that. He knew, <laughs> he knew that. Yeah, you you were ready wait, for that moment. Wait, are you the guy from the Halloween contest? Was, was that <laughs> is that you? 
Uh, yeah, I'm all over these channels these days. <laughs> <laughs> he comes on every channel, yeah. <laughs> that's what I, I thought. That's what I thought. I, I like that. I like that. Um, who, who would you, you know, no, I won't, I won't take any offense. Which character would you? True. Uh, <laughs> just, true. 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 <laughs> Which character is a goner in your mind? Drew. What would hold the most? <laughs> Drew sacrifices um... himself. <laughs> oh no, he, he turns evil and then Jaren kills him. Oh. For me, I think it'd be Jaren who sacrifices himself and not Drew, just because at the start of Baby Yoda One, we can see the love and appreciation Jaren has for kevin and that sacrifice basically just you know it's just proof to drew like how much he actually loves kevin and that it, that, that kind of leaves drew in a very questioning place where he questions he, I'm, I'm, no not in a really questioning place but you know he understands the love that jaren had for kevin and uh, that's that's where uh, that's where the that's where the real, realization hits and that's where the film ends no, no offense to e either you two, but I think um, Drew, no offense, should sacrifice himself because he was spectacle about Kevin at first. And he kind of, at the end of the film, started to love him. And Jaren always loved him, but I don't know. I like Jaren's sacrifice, too. But I like the idea someone needs to die. Someone needs to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you gotta, you gotta raise the stakes. I, I feel like you know, we made, when we made the first film, we, you know, we planned out the first film. Obviously, we tossed around some ideas for the second film, but, um, you know, the sequel, if there is ever a sequel, it's like, it got, it has to top the first one. It always, like, you look yeah. at Empire Strikes Back, you look at, 100%. Just, like, like, you don't want, you don't want to make a sequel and then it's, like, not good. So, I mean, I've, I'll be honest with you guys, like, you know, I've, I've, I've had some ideas. Like I've, I've came up with some pretty cool stuff, you know, like, uh, some of you guys may be like on the right track with what I was thinking. Maybe I'll, not. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, one day I was like really bored. This is related to baby Yoda. So I was, well, one day I was like super bored. I opened up a Google doc. I wrote baby Yoda part two, my script. Oh. And then I just, I, I, then I just started, you know, characters, this act one, scene one, some, I made like kind of a play out of it. And, and this is basically what I pitched to you. Like, uh, yeah, I, st I, I think I still have that document. Like I can send it to you. Or something. Yeah. Send that over. I'd love to read uh, yeah, that. It, yeah. That, 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 that was basically my rendition of my script of what I feel baby Oda to could have been maybe. Well, now the last thing you said that was controversial. Not not you, Arian, but Drew, when you said that uh, a new hope w is better than Empire Strikes Back. Now that's just controversial. A new hope <laughs> is better. No, I'm I... sorry. The Empire Strikes Back is better than a new hope. Now that's controversial. Listen, I'm a I'm a prequels fan. I love the prequels, so I feel like one, two, three are better than all the originals and the sequels. Oh, I, oh, I Boom. agree. I agree. Boom! There we I go. Agree. Prequels all the way. Oh yeah, Hayden Christensen's the goat. Yes, yes, there we go. So I I will I will say this. I will say this. You know, like I'm being so honest with you guys. Like I would, you know, if we if like me and Jaren were like if we had time right now, you know, because obviously we're both doing stuff, like if we both were like, okay, like, you know, because this the film took like a year, so it'd probably take another year if we were to do another one. If we're like, okay, we both have the time, we're both gonna do it, it's like I would definitely be on board to do it and um you know i like i so bad would want to like tell you guys like even though there's there's no script but i definitely i've actually like outlined like how it would like like whether it's a sequel whether it's a a trilogy like you, you like you never know you never know a prequel like, a prequel or a, a sequel to the sequel spin to off. the prequel spinoff. There could be like a Drew spinoff, like <laughs> you know, like young young Drew, like you know, Cobra Kai Zone. We'll we'll cast you for that. <laughs> you play young Drew. I think we get we can get away with that. You could play like a a, a younger me. Yeah, that that'd be sick. <laughs> that'd be cool to watch. Yeah, no, I will. Uh, yeah, yeah, I could play younger you. I could play younger you. All right, well, Just we'll light, lighten the hair a bit. Lighten the hair a bit, and it'd be good. Yeah, yeah. It'd work. Or, it'd work. Or maybe a Jaren. Wait, uh, let me, can I see the hair? Yeah, yeah. Do you have longer hair? It's like. Oh, you might be. A, you might. Oh wait, I don't, I don't know. 
It's like dark brown. Grow out the hair and then you're Jaren right there. <laughs> <laughs> get the get the Kyle hair and then you're Jaren. But um, I will say this. I will say this. Um, we we wanted to wrap up the film where if there's never a sequel, it's a satisfying film because originally, originally the film was gonna end dark. It was gonna end dark. Yeah, it was, it was going to end dark and then it was like it was going to depend on a sequel. But we were like, oh, we can't do that because we've spent so much time on the film. We're like, in mm -hmm. case we never make a sequel, we don't want to end to, it. Yeah, I we don't that. want we don't want to end it like that where it's like, OK, now it's just ending on this total bad note. But here the ending, it's really beautiful with us at the lake with Kevin. Uh, it's a happy ending. We defeated the bad mm -hmm. guy. But. We did want to set up those things, Ariane. I think you caught it on the money. You know, it's uh, one of one of the, that that line that I say. Yeah, um, what, what was it? I think he? Yeah, he he's probably not the only one though. I'm sure he's not the only one. Yeah, there you go. Like, like I'm sure he's like. Wait, what did Jaren say? Um, what do we? Jaren do? said, "What do we? Uh, what do we do?" No, no, no. He said, uh, that, "That guy, guy who tried to kill us." Yeah, yeah. Why do you think the guy who tried to kill us? Why do you think he wanted Kevin so bad? And Drew's like, I'm not sure, but I'm sure he wasn't the only one. Yeah, and then you had the dark music, and then boom, Luke Skywalker. So, okay, let me ask you guys this. Is Luke Skywalker, because when when you see him, he sees the ship, and he ignites his lightsaber. Is this, like, the good guy Luke Skywalker? Is this maybe a, like, what what what, what do you think, like, Luke would, like, because we know he's looking for Kevin. It's like, we have Kevin. He ignites his lightsaber. And it's like, what do you guys think? Um, Man, I, I don't know what he would do. Uh, I think, I I think, think he would me, go and he would... You go. No, you, you can go. Okay. Um, I think for me, Luke would be a bad guy. because Just because I feel... When he takes out the lightsaber, he's really he's really kind of saying that, and, 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 you know, Kevin is happy with Drew and Jared, and he really doesn't want to go anywhere else because that's the those are the two first people he those are the two people he sees when he crash lands on Earth. So, uh, yeah, he's like mom, mom and dad. Uh, yeah, so I, I would see Luke as a bad guy if I mean if I was directing or uh, producing uh, the second the second part. Uh, so yeah, I would see him as a bad guy. Okay. Okay. And do you think when 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 Drew said I don't think he's the only one, do you think he was only referring to Luke or do you think maybe there could be someone else? Like... Um I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not going to say that he was limiting himself to Luke like Luke wasn't the Luke wasn't the only person he's limiting himself to. There maybe Luke has some allies. That maybe Luke, maybe Luke wasn't the only one who was looking for Kevin in that forest. Maybe there were other people around him, but the shot didn't capture it. Something like that. I don't know that the possibilities are endless. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, I mean, there was that one. Like, um, Jaren said, "What do we do now?" It's like now we protect Kevin at least until we find his home. So I mean, I'm just, I'm just teasing you guys with like. So I'm like, like I'm not spoiling anything. This is what's come this on, is, this come is what on. I, that's what I said in the film. So, but but for me, for I, I'm I'm sorry, but for me, you know, finding his home, I think he's already home with Drew and Kevin. I think that Drew and Jaren, sorry, but I think that's I think that's his home. I think the, the, the I think that's what he'd call home. Yeah, I'm, I'm already getting teased enough because um, have you seen my Sean Kanan interview? I, I saw that you interviewed him. I didn't watch it. Yeah. Though, I, how was it? It it was great. Um, but I, I still email him about things, and he he emails me back, and he just I mean he teases me with just like so much stuff, and just annoys me all the time. It's so funny. <laughs> like in the interview itself, he teased me not with like a direct Mike Mike Barnes is in season five, like not that, but like also like bold and beautiful stuff, and it was just so funny. Like I'm already getting teased. Oh, <laughs> he's he's known for that he's known for it everywhere he's always mentioning that stuff <laughs> but um i like i like your guys's sequel ideas so we'll just have to wait and see maybe yeah. 
you know. Yeah, I hope I hope something comes out. Like if not like a full sequel, I think I hope something like does come out of the second. Like some we we do get like a definite ending of Kevin's home. Yeah. My my brother, my little brother is like the biggest fan of the fan film. Like he watches it all the time. It's so great. Um, is it okay if I go get him? Yeah, sure. He, he wants to meet you. Okay, thank you. All right, all right, and and we I see we got someone else here, Gabby. Hey, oh, is that a mask? I think you're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a troll. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like, know. Th- like that's so funny because y- your your rule is that you have to turn the camera on, but people are still not showing their face because they they covered it with a freaking mask. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I never said anything about a mask. <laughs> yeah, the, you didn't. You, the, next time, next time you should say if, if you're turning your camera on, like you can't wear a mask. You can't. <laughs> Guys, cameras on, no masks. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Hey, this this is. Do you recognize him? Mm-hmm. Remember? Hey. It's Drew. Hey. What's your name? Kristen. Kristen. Christian. 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 Nice to meet you. Hey, do you, Do you remember who that is? The baby Yoda guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. There, there's yeah. someone. Who, there's someone who wants to say hi to you. Who is it? Oh baby. my gosh, baby Yoda! It's baby Yoda. Kevin, Kevin, this is this is the one from the movie. Yeah, it's this the one is from the same the one. Movie. He he calls him baby Yoda and Kevin. Christian, look, it's Kevin. Mm-hmm. You recognize him? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah, matching yeah. with your shirt. He's matching you. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. You, you like, like green, and green, green and green, yeah, and green. Yeah, and green. He has a green screen behind him. <laughs> is that so cool? Mm-hmm. How much did you like the movie? Did you like it a lot? Yeah. You loved it? Yeah. Are you watching it right now? No. Oh, no. You watched, yes, it, you watched it, it yesterday. Yes, yeah. it makes me want to watch it. Yeah. So bad. <laughs> did you hear him? What did, what did he say? He said, this makes me want to watch it so bad. <laughs> you should. It, it has 10,000 views on YouTube. It is 10,000 10, people have seen it. Is that a lot? Yeah, Are you, that's a lot. How many times have you watched it? Like 9,000? Mm, probably um, four times. Four, you four times. Come on now, don't lie to him. You watch. He's him being honest. That. He's being modest. He's being modest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm actually not lying. You're actually not lying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, five Good. times. How many times have you watched it? Like a thousand. A thousand. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Wait, where did all your phone go? <laughs> no, that's nice. No, so now we, now he's off track. All right, bye, buddy. <laughs> Don't say. Oh no, you want to stay? Don't yeah. Stay. stay uh, why not? Let, why not? Fight and let them talk. What well, What was your favorite scene from the movie? What was your favorite scene? Um, when um, when they fought. Yeah, he always talks about that, and we do I... like we do like reenactments all the time. Like he he's like. Like, like we uh, watch it, and then we're like, okay, let's do this scene. Like, we, we do it so much, and he, he loves it. What scenes do you reenact? Oh, all the fight scenes, because he loves punching me. That's the only thing. <laughs> he loves punching me. He, um, he, when we were playing, I think it was football outside with my dad, he came out, and, um, you know, when you guys, you and Jaren are running together with Baby Yoda? <laughs> yeah. He wanted me to reenact that. He went, Evan, do, do the Baby Yoda thing. <laughs> And he and he did and he like was running towards me and it's so funny. Were you guys like trying to run in slow motion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was running slow motion. He's going. Whoa. It was it's so funny. it's funny. It's funny because when you're like running, like we had to like run a certain way to make it like look good in slow motion. Like it's. it's I think just... I'll go get work on the TC Drew. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think he's going to watch the film again. He's going to go watch yeah, the film. Yeah, he's not going to go watch it. He's going to go probably watch I'll, I'll be right back. I have to go turn him on back with the show. Well, or well we're we're actually at the hour mark, so I think we're going right, to right. end it here. But um, I want to thank both of you guys for coming on, saying oh, yeah. hi, and talking. I Once again, I really appreciate all the support. Cobra Kai Karate, if you're still in the chat, I know you had some technical issues, but uh, thank you for joining. And uh, yeah, is there anything else? You guys want to want to say before there, we head is, off? Is, is there something I can say? Yeah, go ahead. This is completely completely off topic, but uh, Drew, your LA thing, your LA trip. 
I'm actually going to LA next month, so I'm I'm gonna be revisiting all those locations. I'm like I'm I'm looking forward to it. Like uh, next month, which is early May, early May, I think. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so I'll have my video up before then. Um, definitely, I'm hoping to have it up in like early April. It's 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 gonna be a I'm very. So, I'm so excited for it. You you <laughs> got you guys will love it. It's, it's gonna be like like. It's gonna be like over. It's it'll be like forty five minutes. Okay, so I so yesterday <laughs> I watched your Zoom your Zoom video again. Remember that? Um, that's my actual favorite video that you that you made on the Cobra Guy channel. I rewatched it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I th- yeah. I love that one. That, that that that's 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 a good one. But Aryan, yeah, you gotta uh, check sorry. out. Hold on one second. Uh, <laughs> Aryan, you gotta check out. All the locations. Is there? Is there what? Which one in particular are you looking forward to seeing? Um, I'm, 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 I'm probably looking. F- I'm, I'm probably looking forward to where, like, where Daniel and Johnny taught their students. Like, I'm, 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 tr- I'm, I'm not sure because I still have a month to go. So I'm still doing my research. I'm still finding out the maps because, um, I've only been to USA once before. So yeah. Mm. Well, just, just so you, just a heads up for you, um. Karate Kid, all of Karate Kid was filmed in LA. Um, yeah. Cobra Kai was filmed in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you're looking for um, Cobra Kai scenes, that's Atlanta, Georgia. However, however, they did film some stuff from Cobra Kai in LA. So if you do want to catch those, I caught a couple. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, I know because um, I'll, be, I'll be visiting a ton of locations. I think I'll be going to New York. Um, oh, Arkansas, and then of course I, I will be going to Atlanta, and then like a, an, another five days, which is in LA. Yeah. Oh, nice. I think Christian wants to tell you one more thing before we have to go. What do you okay. Want? Um. So um, have you made all the Baby Yoda shows? Oh, he means are you making more? That's what he asked. Yeah. Am I making? Uh, hey, I don't think he can specify, but he's given us teas. There. There might there might be something coming. Maybe oh. we'll see. I love babe. I love Kevin. You know, me and Kevin were best buds. So, um, I would say there's a very big maybe. I just want to say he he believes that it's he he believes what happened was true. <laughs> he oh, doesn't it- think it's, it's a movie. He believes it's true. I'm trying to tell him like, no, it didn't actually happen. It's a movie, but it's great. He actually believes like you guys went through that. No. It, it but it did happen oh it did happen oh my fault my fault it, no i we literally just escaped luke skywalker yesterday oh my god wait i'll go get something real quick <laughs> oh, oh, oh he's probably, no, he's probably getting a lightsaber I'm now gonna... what i said he's probably getting a lightsaber to fight luke off <laughs> yeah me and jaren become jedi that's the ending <laughs> that'd, be pretty cool. that'd be pretty cool was it was, was he bringing back something i have no clue no, I don't know. I don't know. We can just end it. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, thank you both for coming on. I mm-hmm. appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. Good luck with both of your projects, channels, um, music. I know you guys both do a bunch of stuff. So uh, just, yeah, thank you guys for joining. Yep. See you. Right. Thank yeah, you. Take care, guys. Take care. Thank you. Peace. Bye. Bye. Awesome. Awesome. Well, everyone, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on the DJ show. Until then, peace. May the force be with you. Always.